Hello everybody, Adley Home here, and this is my fall type tour for 2019. Um, it's going to be a little bit different from the tours last year, just kind of a first take, not as formal, but I will still show, you know, basically everything. Uh, not much changes from year to year, so hopefully you guys will be fine with it this way. Um, yeah, I guess I don't have much else to say. If you want to see anything else or anything like that or any other comments, just leave them in the comments below. Uh, yeah, okay, let's get into the tour. So here we are now in the front, and I decided this year I'm going to start over by the mailboxes so I don't have to walk over there, so we've just got this bow here, and that's really it. The flowers are still there, and they're pink, and that's not my favorite for fall, but, you know, they're not ours, so there's nothing we can do about that. So, got this bow on here, another one of those new ones, I really like that, or I guess that's the first one you'll be seeing. And let's head back up here. This just saves time so I don't have to start over there, walk up here. So here's all this stuff. I think we will go to the right though up here in the front so there's not a ton for fall but I added something those I'm gonna actually get a quick view of those from here I love these new leaves on the poles that's probably my favorite thing almost for all of fall probably and I'll show those up close later but I really like those so let's go over here so this is also new just a little metal cutout of pumpkins and it looks perfect with the these little fall type flowers I don't know what they're called my dad would know but I have no idea um, but it just looks nice there with that tree which is starting to turn a little red so I think that whole setup looks really nice. It's got a little crow on it so I really like those. Going over here, same scarecrow I've had for many years. Still like him a lot though so there he is. I think he looks good there still and we got these tall flowers and these still too which aren't the most fall but that's okay and I'll use those for the pumpkin patch at Halloween so there's that guy back there. Put it back over here. I do leave the cross out because uh, I think that still fits very nicely for fall. And that's something we want to have out, obviously. So there's a thing of the porch as I go by. There's those leaves. It's probably the only shot you'll get from far away, so I think those just look really nice. Come up over here. So here's the little garden flag, same one I've always had. Welcome with the leaves. Really like that one. Come over here. I guess we'll go all the way to the right first. So first thing is over here by this tree, which lost that branch. We've just got this pumpkin sitting there, which does look nice with this tree. And I think the ghosts are going to look really cool in this tree at Halloween because it's it's kind of dying. I think. I mean. It still looks nice, it's got leaves and everything, but it's a little decrepit, so that will look cool. And coming over here, I do have a pumpkin I just laid there, which I think looks nice with those orange flowers, which are still blooming, so that's nice. Uh, hopefully this bush is gonna start turning to its orange fall color soon, that's mainly why I wanted to get it. Coming over here, we do have these sunflowers, which is just something I kinda wanted to show. Those are really pretty with fall. Um, all, so are these as well, because they're fall colored, so really like those together there. And then, just like usual, we do have a corn stalk here, but You'll see I added bows to some of those, so I just added an orange one to this one, which I will keep through all three months. And I think that looks really nice here by this door, we just got that with this pumpkin, so I think that's really nice there. And then uh, one of those sunflowers, an orange one, so this whole little setup actually kind of worked out nicely. That sunflower was an extra, and it just kind of ended up, I planted it there, it was really small, and it, and it bloomed up. So these sunflowers are really nice for fall, so there's that on the side, head back in the front. So. Same as before, but these are still some of my favorites. They match with that tablecloth you'll see later inside or you've maybe seen before. Just love these bows, regular bows with nice, very nice fall colors. Those are some of my favorite bows that we have for any holiday. So there's those. And then I guess, let's see, I go up on the porch. So, oh yeah, this is a very nice view of those leaves as well. Just with the flag, that whole setup together, it's just probably one of my favorite things now, honestly. So yeah, so let's go up on the porch. Um, a thing I've done for years, like a tradition is just, having these hay bales here in the corner with pumpkins and corn and stuff. So that's kind of still the same and it changes for all three times, fall, Halloween, and Thanksgiving, but there that is. Corn, gourds, stuff like that, this little fall sign. Uh, I did have some extra ribbon, so I just made bows going along, kind of random bows that were just left, random ribbon and just made a little thing. And then the corn up here, which I also did stick some dead plant stems in because I think that fits with it good too. Some of them are still green but they'll they'll turn brownish later on. So there's that whole little setup. Um, I guess we'll back off for just a second to show you what you got down there. Which just looks great with the leaves as well. Pumpkin gourd going up there and then a little pumpkin there and over here we have a mum with these really these new pumpkin buckets which are really great for mums. So uh, right now I have it flipped so it's just a pumpkin but then in October it won't be here but I'll flip it back around and it will be a jack-o'-lantern face, so that will be perfect. Um, can kind of use that all three months as well. So we got the pumpkins, gourds and stuff there. A little white pumpkin there, I like. Uh, we, we were able to get some nice white pumpkins this year because we went earlier to the big pumpkin place, so they had some nice ones left. And then here's some those leaves again. And coming over here, 
Just some stuff by the door, some gourds and pumpkins. Another hay bale, there's where that scarecrow is. And then corn and pumpkins on that. We have actually kept the same Indian corn for probably like six years. It doesn't, if you just store it somewhere, you know, where bugs can't get it, it will just stay. It doesn't rot or anything, which I guess makes sense, kind of, because um, it's it's not really super edible. And then we've got, I guess I'll open the door so you can not have the glare. Uh, one of my favorite things is the welcome pumpkin sign. So there's that, I like that. Use that for a long time. Um, yeah, so that's all that is in the front yard for fall. And yeah, okay, now we'll go to the inside. Okay, so here we are now in the inside part. So. Got a bow up there, which is a new bow, and then this sign, which I had last year. I think that looks pretty nice. So let's head on to the inside. So, um, just like last year a couple times, I just put some cutouts usually here. Whatever's open, so I like that. It's a nice bit of color. There's Kit Kat. What are you doing? Um, this wreath I've had before. I really like that a lot, so that's nice. There's that. Go on the back of the door. Oh, that's on the back. These are new little uh, hanger things. I think I talked about these in a stream, but they're just little... Welcome Autumn, and then there's a cutout with that. So I think that looks nice. Nothing else on the back, but I don't think it really needs it for a little simple Autumn. A uh, pumpkin and some leaves down there. And then this pillow, which I've had before. There's that pumpkin. A uh, pumpkin on either one of these. Also, sorry if you can hear that later. My mom's just mowing lawn outside, so you might be able to hear that a little bit. No big deal. Um, got leaves all along the wall like I've done before. So. You know, like I used to kind of do. You'll just see those as I go by. Nothing particularly special. Um, here's this. We've just got the scarf around the lamp like usual. I really like how that looks. Corn, leaf, some other little things you'll just see. Got the three candles changed to the good colors right there. And I did also make bows for this little table. That one's messed up a little bit, but you get the picture. It's a little lopsided right now, but that's kind of how those are. And then down here we got corn, book of pumpkin patches, and other little things set around. So we'll go, we'll keep going this way. I think the fall stuff looks nice with these new couches and everything, very warm and cozy. There's that up here. I did consider putting the lights from Halloween on here with the leaves, but nah, I just decided to keep it as normal. So just leaves and little apples and things thrown in there. Like there's one of the apples. And then we've, uh, you've seen these before in a stream. We got these nice flowers. I really think those look good. The sunflowers and the mums together. Uh, I just turned on those lights real quick for you to see that. Oops, except for that one, it might be out. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that one. Sometimes it goes off and if you touch it, there it goes. Um, got candle holders on either side. Those are the same. A lot of this is the same, to be honest, right here. Uh, this is a new bow, which I think looks really nice. And we've just got, you know, got some stuff with the, the switch there. And just some things going around. Big pumpkins, little pumpkins. I did turn the candles on. They're usually on a timer, but decided to turn them on for the tour. So there those are, all three of those are on. Um, I really like this little setup. That's a new thing. And I really like keeping that box out. I think it looks nice. We got a little cross right there. Okay, you just keep moving along. Let's see, we got leaves up here. Some more of those. Uh, that pillow, which I've also used before. They're very nice pillows. They fit nice with this new furniture as well, I would say, even though this one is an old furniture. Um, oh yeah, no bear up there at, for this. We do have the fall stickies, and you'll see the outside later on, you know. Um, so you'll see that later on in the video. But up on the windowsill, you just got a little holder. This thing's gonna be really hard to see, but it says harvest, so there's that. Gonna have a hard time seeing that, but nothing you can do about it. Oops, lighting up a little bit too much there. Um, we've got this thing around the uh, lamp, another one of those. Basket of gourds and uh, what are those? Acorns. Acorns in the little thing, so all that stuff right there, leaves. Put a bow on this one. I think that's one of the prettier bows, so I think it's a nice one. And then I like the yellow and uh, brown leaves down here. I think those look nice. Uh, and then just with the Pumpkins and corn, and there's Kit Kat. Um, and then here we've just got a little mat where the TV remote goes, and then some other things. One of these candle holders I think is nice. And this is new on the, oh, that's not gonna, I'm gonna take that down to show. So it's just regular pumpkins, but then for Thanksgiving, I'm gonna flip it and it's gonna say thanks. So it's perfect for, you can use it for both. I mean, you could do thanks for the whole fall theme in general, but I like to keep that to specifically like November Thanksgiving. So there's that. And another candle holder right there. And then you got the, oh, that's the house. Um, we've just been watering that new grass out there, which you'll see later on better because it will start to grow in more. Um, just this whole setup, which you also did see in a stream. I think that looks very nice. I just think, I don't know. It just makes me think of pumpkin pie. Just the colors are perfect for that. I don't know why. Leaves and stuff up here. Some stickies on there, not too. Those are just kind of thrown on there extra. And then this 
Looks nice. We've just got a bow, another one of those. I love those two together. And I just kind of stuck leaves going down this pole where there is a big new pumpkin. I think it's a nice one. And then I used some of that extra burlap actually from those scarecrows and just put it on here with the leaves. So there's that whole setup. So there was that room. I think that turned out pretty nice. Okay, let's go here. Um, we saw that already. Just some cutouts around. I try not to put too many out. This is a little thing I made in art class of a fox with like the four seasons, but it's orange, so fall is the most season in it. Um, gosh, it does not want to focus. There we go. Uh, another bow. And then do have on the window here just window stickers, you know, just like I usually do. Different leaves and pumpkins and stuff. Uh, this is one of my favorite things, the fox with the stuff. I think that's really pretty, and I really like that. Uh, candle holder there we got. And then let's go over here. Sorry about the lighting, the sun's just making it weird. Um, or the lack of sun, honestly. Um, just soap, same kind. Uh, th these are new, these little corn pumpkins. I think those are really nice. So there's those. Got the corn and the leaves all around here. Um, so there's this whole little thing on the counter. I think that's one of the nicer things I've done for fall before. I think that's just very pretty. So there's that. That looks nice. Focus, come on. Whatever. Um, just got, here's the two candles. You saw those in the stream as well, but they just look so nice in this uh, phone camera lighting. It's one of my favorite things right there. So there's that. And we'll head over here, more cutouts and stuff. I think this scarecrow with these leaves just looks really nice. All of those together. Will not focus, there we go. I think that looks nice. And then we've just got, uh, Magnets all over the fridge. Pumpkin, pumpkin, leave, stuff like that. Just all around there. And then come over here, I guess, right? Got this plate and this food and a little uh, mug. I think the mug looks cool. And just, those are some cinnamon donuts or whatever you call those. Those are good for fall, I love those. Um, got the thing on the oven, which is on right now, by the way. If you, I don't know if you can hear that, but we're just making something right now, uh, dinner. And then, um, just placemat here with the gourds and corn and leaves, and I think that looks really nice. And then we did get some candy, so I think I mentioned that before once, but we did get some, so that's good. This little fox, which I love, is one of my favorite things. That's new. It's been in my room all the years, so it's not as new for me, but it's new for you guys. Got this thing, which I've used many times, you've seen before, but I really do like it a lot. And up here, I did just put those, I'm still not 100% sure on that, but it's staying that way, at least for this video, so there's those flower and a gourd, and then we've got a uh, leaf up there, leaf right here, more cutouts and stuff like that, pumpkin, pumpkin one down there, and then I guess let's go over here, we've got one of these hanging up on the wall, I think that looks nice, just a little thing there, and then just like before I've had um, these leaves here, just on the, the windows, and I think those look really nice like that, just a nice, simple thing on there. Um, I guess before we go this way, I'm gonna change it up a little. We'll go out here. I did close the room. It's it's still decently warm enough just to leave it open, but I thought it would look nice to close it for the video. So, and another bow on here, which I think looks I think looks really nice, and then to change that out for an orange candle. And then here, this is uh, new. Just to put this here is new. I've had the candle, but I put a candle there and put this nice fall uh, potpourri stuff around it. I think that looks really nice. It's got a little bucket down there. Uh, that That's always out here, but that whole thing together looks nice. And then you will see leaf stickies. Also those sunflowers are beautiful with fall, but you'll see leaf, uh, leaf stickies on the windows all throughout the room. So there's just kind of a shot of those, I suppose. Um, so down here, I have this thing on the couch. Just a thing of leaves going across with this pillow, which I'm still not sure on this either, but it goes with that pillow. So we've got this thing, which goes with that pillow. They're the same design and everything. So I have that out here too, a little windsock. Um, just little things all around. I love that little fox. He's cute. Pumpkins, leaves, stuff like that all around. I did keep that succulent plant out. I will probably throw it away in October, even if it is still going, we'll have to see. Um, down here, I got the little scarecrow, which does have a jack-o'-lantern, but I make that exception because he looks way more fall to me than Halloween. So. Uh, leave that cactus out. This, oh yeah, let me plug this in. Sorry about having to go back here, but I should plug it in. It does look nice like that. So we've got these leaves down here. That's the first thing. I used some more of that extra burlap from the scarecrows and put it around the bottom of the tree. So then it just, it's a really nice setup, I think. I might have a clip of this at night. I'm not sure if I'm doing the little clips this year, but I think that looks really nice with the bows and the leaves and all that stuff. So there's that. And then just more pumpkins and stuff around. Uh, we have, it's actually a dead, just a dead plant, but I think it looks more like a like a corn stalk. So keep that harvest sign in there with that. And then more leaves and 
pumpkins around here. There's the Venus flytrap, you've seen that before. Got some leaves on that table, happy fall, and that's that. There's some, there's the mom outside. Oh, and there is another bow here. I just kind of made another one with the extra ribbon, so put that there. But yeah, that reminds me, I left this out, the leaves, but actually what that reminds me of is I did, there's one here I did not show. There's one there too, uh, with a little bird. So I think that looks nice. The sunflowers, I think this right here is just the perfect angle with the tree. It's so pretty that way. I just really like how that turned out. That is the nicest thing about the sunflowers for sure, even if they are falling over. Okay, um, so let's head back in here. Oh, there's the kitty cats. They want to go out. No, you can not go out. Not right now. Sorry. Um, okay, so we saw that already. Let's go around here. Oh yeah, there's something. So, Scarecrow has always been by the cat bed. You've seen that before. It looks nice still there though. We've got the wooden things, benders, corn, apples, and pumpkin, which I have shown in the stream is like a, a jack-o'-lantern. You just flip it around. Let's head over here. I guess here's a thing. So the table, uh, you guys already seen this and I knew some people really liked it. I really like it too. It's just tablecloth with all this stuff is just so nice. I think it looks good. With the leaves in the background, it's kind of nice too. Let me go back up there. It's just a nice thing to walk into if you come through this front door. So I really do like that. Here, let me show it a little closer up. This is one of those things I'll spend a little more time on just because I think it looks really nice. So there's that. I love this pumpkin. I just love the detailing on it and everything. Um, got another bow up here. So there's that. Um, I like that. Just like the others. This I've used before. It's just a stack of pumpkins with leaves. I think that looks good too where it's been. Um, oh, I did kind of skip over this. There's this up here, a little candle holder basically. Got a votive in it. Switch these out for leaves from the summer flowers. Got that in there. That stuff there. There's that stuff down there. Um, this is a new little pumpkin spice candle and stuff like that. Um, we got over that already. Let's see. Got these here, like that. Just kind of a little extra thing there. This little pumpkin behind the computer on um, the router. It's just kind of where I decided to put that, I don't know. Um, and I think I am gonna keep this the same. I'll show you this real quick, but I am gonna go down the hallway first. So there we got those in the hallway on that side, some in the hallway on this side. And coming down the hallway, we've just got a happy harvest. It's another one of those hangers. It's a little pumpkin, I like that one. This fall sign, which I have had before, I like that a lot too. And then a cutout. And then let's head in the bathroom. There's another cutout on the door for that. And then this lights up, and I guess another thing I'll show, you've seen that this lights up before in past years, but another thing, excuse me, that I'll show is I've got this little candle on here, which really doesn't look like anything now, but I'll turn on the light and that will make it look a little nicer. Um, it's nice for nighttime. That's another one that's on a timer, but the timer's usually from six to 12, so, but I turned it on early, because it is three. So we've got these soaps, which you have seen, but here they are in a little nicer detail. I think that picture on them is just beautiful. I, that's the main reason I got them, honestly. Plus the colors are just great. So got this thing in the middle like usual. It's one of my favorite things as well. I just like the colors. It really does depend on what leaves you pick because I have so many. So I try to stay mostly toward the colorful ones because we honestly do have a lot of brown ones, which I'm surprised we just do because, you know, most people like the fall colors for the reds and orange. Here's those stickies. I just go through those. And then we'll head back here. So we've got this pumpkin down in the corner, kind of shadowed, but we keep that down there all three months. Uh, fall and then we've got a uh, Kleenex box, which I just I'm gonna do this this year I decided to put stickers on it. I think that really adds a lot of character to it It's already a fall color, but there you go. That kind of helps and then there's that stuff on top of the toilet thing I'm sorry I feel like I say. Um, And then we just got to leave up here with this so I like that whole setup that candles just nice I bought that last year on sale after Christmas, but I think I'm gonna use it for a lot of holidays this year So let's head back out here and we'll go into the last room well, before that, got some stuff on the outer side. So we've got these on either side of the thing. And then here, we've got the candles, which I did show in a stream as well. And over here, we've got Happy Fall. This is the last one of those hangers. I like that one, it's a sunflower, so it kind of links summer and fall. Um, and then we've got this one of those, which is the same, if you haven't noticed, as that one over there. So we have two of those. I think my mom used to put them both together in some place, but now they just, I kind of separated them. Um, this will, this was shown in the outside, but you know, there's that again, and I think that looks nice either way. And then this is on the back, which it's not my favorite thing, but it looks nice, especially when you kind of put this all together with the bows. It's a nice little setup, kind of. So there's that. Let me open the door back up to get some more light in here. Lola, what are you doing? Um, so we've got leaf here, and mums and 
leaves there and that thing. I like to mix those together so it's not so pink anymore. Apparently Lola wants to see too. So, and then we've got, this is the same pumpkin as on the middle of the table. It's just a tall one. And then here's this stuff. We got the other one of these right here. So I think that looks nice. And then there's that stuff. So now we'll head into the living room. I guess we'll go this way first where Lola is. Got a pumpkin down here with some leaves. Uh, the funkins that you can carve. Same ones I used for the scarecrow. Uh, and then we just got this stuff sitting on here. This one smells really good. We've had this for years. I've never burned it. I'll usually burn most candles, but made an exception for that one because I think it just looks too nice to burn that one. And then we've got some stuff, uh, little beads inside there. I really like those. A little pumpkin one, those are cool. Another bow on top of there I made. That one's not as nice, but they're all kind of nice together. Uh, there is a little pumpkin sitting up there, so there's that kind of thing. And then down here, uh, I won't go over all that specifically because it's a potpourri type thing, but we've got all this stuff going on down there. And then I did change the candles out for red, or orangish red. It looks red on, oh, there you go, you can tell. And then a yellowish one. And we do have the stickies going up here. There's mom. Um, we also do have a candle holder. Those are not my favorite. Let me take it so you can see it better. Not my favorite ones, but I do still use them and they fit well here, so there they go. There's the leaves outside. Also still one of my new favorite things. Gonna keep those all the months. Uh, we do have a couple stickies on this thing. And here we do have uh, more of those, which I like. I think I showed putting those in one of the streams. Oh, there goes the clock right when we're here. Um, there's another leaf. And then these, leave that in the jar for the next three months. I like those leaves, nice ones. Here's some of this stuff closer up, even though I did go through it. I like that fox a lot, but I just like foxes in general. Um, we've got these gourds and pumpkins hanging on there and a string with the bow. That's kind of nice. That whole setup with the leaves and all that stuff. I think that looks good. I think I'm gonna show some of the stuff farther back this year because it's that's really to get a nice perspective on it. We have some more of these up here. Let me actually back up for those too. So if you go all the way around here, got them all the way up there. And I like them a little more spread out for fall. Uh, pumpkin, Beanie Baby, only Beanie Baby for fall. Just a bear, regular bear with a pumpkin. Um, then we've got leaves and stuff. Pumpkin there, fall right there. Looks nice, I like that. Um, over here, like I showed you those, it's a little dark, cloudy outside. That's why I decided to do the inside one uh, today because it wasn't gonna be sunny that often. So I might as well do it now. We got a bow here. Uh, on that, which I think looks nice. And then another one, this is a new leaf as well. I don't know if I mentioned that, but this one over here on the clock is new. New yellow or green one. This one that I just showed you goes with that. So it's a nice orange one. I like that. And then we got leaves and pumpkin and all that stuff right there. So there's that whole situation. And then here's a new pumpkin as well with leaves and stuff. I like those new ones. They look a little more realistic with the bumps and lines. So. Those are cool. There's Lola, and I guess while well, she's there, so we got apple up there and some leaves. That looks a little weird, honestly, now that I look at it, but whatever, it works out. And then this table um, is almost, you know, this is not changed at all. This is the same as last year exactly, so just all that stuff on there. I do like it, but that's why I didn't change it, honestly. That's why it's the same, so got all that stuff on there, including this pumpkin thing. I like that, too. I would keep that out for Halloween if I could, but it just never looks good to me. And then over here, another one of those leaves that there are some out in the family room, the yellow and brown one, so another green one. Uh, and then just little leaves and gourds all over that. And these two ceramic ones up here with the leaves and stuff. And a little scarf wrapping around the bottom of that, so that's a nice setup. I do like these pumpkins. These are probably older than me. My mom has had those forever, but they are very nice. And up here, just some more stickies. They're very tiny little dot ones, but like, apples, acorns, leaves, stuff like that with our pictures. So yeah, that's kind of it. I guess I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do something kind of different for the inside this year. I'll just take a quick walk back through it slowly um, this year. So there's that. Um, some of you have seen all this stuff before and this is why I decided to do the videos a little more informal because uh, it's not worth, you know, taking a whole big thing for something that's generally unchanged. So just kind of taking it nice and easy for these. I think it looks nice. Um, yeah. Also, to make sure I didn't skip anything, because last year I kept watching back my videos and being like, oh, there we go, that's a thing I didn't talk about. <laughs> and it's always kind of annoying, but that's okay. It's no big deal. So, yeah. Um, I think that's it for the inside, so go into the backyard now. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, so here we are now, heading out into the backyard. 
So let's go out there. Um, so, first thing, I do have a corn stalk over here again, but I put a bow on this one as well. I think that looks pretty cool. I think that just kind of looks nice and turned out well, and there's a pumpkin at the bottom, just like uh, I've done before. And I, I like that whole setup there. I like adding the bow, and I think that's a fall thing I can definitely keep for Halloween as well. So uh, I do keep that little thing out. And then we bought four mums. So this one I've just kind of sat here because I think it kind of just looks nice to have one there. Why not? So Because that's just kind of in case one dies, which has happened before. But it's also nice to kind of have it there. So I used to just put them behind the shed, but I think that works better. Um, I do like to use this sunflower flag, which is kind of summery, but my main like defense for that, I guess, <laughs> it's not really, but anyway, um, is that the backyard is still pretty summery. There's not actually much fall going on about it yet until October, so, and personally, this year, it just fits a lot better because of those. So, I think it kind of mixes fall and summer pretty nicely, so I still keep that out. And over here, there's not much. I'm keeping that potted plant, and some the sunflowers are really weak. Um, but I did just put two gourds over here. I'll switch that for a mum when I put up Halloween stuff. And then coming over here, um, I will walk around the pond this time instead of just zooming in on stuff. So we've got those two there. And over here, hay bale, which I've done before, and just some gourd corn and stuff on it there. And then a mum, which is blooming. It's a very pretty mum, and I think this one's gonna look really nice. So I like that one a lot. And I think that one is probably what's gonna end up over there once I switch it out. So I think that should work out nicely. Um, before I go around the pond, I, I don't know if I mentioned that, there's that there. Uh, I'm just going to talk through the waterfall, so you should be able to hear me, but it might be kind of weird. So, just got another mum there with one of those pumpkin buckets that I talked about in the front yard, and then a pumpkin and some gourds there, so that looks nice, and I'll flip that one around for October as well. And then over here, I just have this gazing ball, which has a jack-o'-lantern face on the back, which you saw last year, but I flip it right now just to be orange, so there's that. And now I am going to go around the pond. So here's just the view of stuff as I go around. Um, I kind of like how the backyard... Oh, I do leave the hummingbird feeders out as well, uh, usually, because they can still show up uh, at this time, even though they've barely shown up this year. Oh, yeah. I did get another white of pumpkin, because usually we get those later, but they were so nice early on. So I decided might as well just get both of them now. So it is the only pumpkin around the pond right now, but um, just thought I might as well get it now. So. There is one small thing over here. I guess I am going to just walk up to it. I'm going to change that this year. So, I've got a fall bow on there with the hummingbird feeder and stuff. So, I think that looks nice. A little setup. There's a little butterfly. They're still around right now. It's not too cold. Um, the grass is starting to grow in here, so that's nice. And usually this scarecrow would be at the corner of the fence, but now he's there. Um, until this tree is gone, which probably won't be until next spring. Which is fine with me, because I think I'm going to put my tiny scarecrow back here for Halloween. So, he's there right now. And coming over here, I did leave this up because mainly, well, it's orange and stuff, so that fits well for fall. But also, this whole setup together, those sunflowers with it are just so pretty. So there's that. And then if you come over to here, I love how this fits together. So after I put the corn here, these, it's kind of dark, but these fallish colored sunflowers, they just look so nice with the corn. The whole little setup. I did put a bow on that one as well. And I think the whole thing there just looks very nice. So there's that. Oh, and I did forget. There is one thing here. Um, I did put a bow on this. You can barely see it because the vines are still so rapid, but we'll cut those back pretty soon here. So there's that. And the last thing is the tree house. I will zoom in on that a little bit. There we go. Uh, that's the best view I can get of it pretty much, but there's corn up there, hay bale, pumpkins and gourds and stuff, just like usual. I did put a bow on the door, which you should be able to see. And yeah, and I put the corn on the opposite side this year just because I thought that looked better from over here because that branch kind of covers that half of it. So yeah. So yeah, that's the backyard, and uh, yeah. So I thought I'd just show real quick, like, kind of what this tree looks like at night. I think it just looks really pretty, so I didn't want to miss that about nighttime when there's not much else for fall. So I just think it looks really nice with the colors and the bows and the leaves and everything with these warm white lights on it. So just thought I'd show you guys that real quick. And yeah. So thanks for watching. And I hope you guys are okay with the videos being a little bit more like this this year. I usually will kind of try to perfect them and just do it over and over, but I just decided to do it kind of in basically one take this time, so I hope that's okay. Um, I'll probably still do some more stuff for fall, like streams and stuff, but I don't know. Uh, definitely for like October and Halloween and stuff, but I mean like fall, September fall. So yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, and bye.